far has been this one. Find the mistake if possible. Uh, not supposed to be the toughest question, but I know at times we make a mistake here. It's either correct, step one, step two, or step three. There was a mistake here. So as we look at this thing, my first class earlier said step one was incorrect because there was a negative over here on that Y. How is that still correct if there's a negative over there? Yeah, you, there's a <laughs> negative on that X squared. You can just divide by that. And so they got the X squared by itself by dividing by negative Y squared. So the separation is correct. Then we integrate. We add one of the exponent, negative 1. We divide by the new exponent, so it's just Y. That's why they brought the negative, because now it can just be Y and not negative Y. On the other side, X cubed over 3 plus C. That one's good. A little bit funky because they left C in the problem, and we normally don't do that. But step three here, to get rid of the negative one, we need to do the reciprocal. And what they did here is they kind of wrote it with a three, and we can't flip it that way. We would want to flip that whole thing one over. And so probably not the greatest question of all time, but they didn't take the reciprocal at the end correctly. It would be one divided by that whole mess there and not the way they flipped it. Questions on that one? I'm not too worried about that one. If you thought your, your way through it, I'm okay with that one. That question right there, number 11, I adjusted it because one of the things was off a little bit. Let's look at this one. Number 18 was missed quite a bit. This is what we did on Friday. And so if there's one thing, if you weren't here Friday, you probably want to go back over these. Okay. Of the following, which is the solution for the differential equation? And we're selecting all that apply. All right. So they gave us this right here. This is what needs to be true. When I plug in y double prime minus 6y prime plus 8y needs to be equal to zero. All right, so that's our whole goal here. They told us different y's down below. We're just going to try them and see what happens. So, for example, I've got y equals 2 sine of 4x. So if I found y prime, that would be 8 cosine 4x, if you know how to do chain rule with your derivatives, and y double prime would be negative 32 sine 4x. Negative because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Everybody understand how I did that? Once I've done it, then I'm going to plug it into this equation again. All right, so it says y double prime. So negative 32 sine of 4x minus 6 times 8 cosine 4x plus 8 times y 2 sine 4x. And you just try to simplify it down and see if we get zero in the end. Negative 32 sine 4x uh, minus 48 cosine 4x. Is anything going to cancel out this minus 48 cosine 4x? Then it's not zero. Okay, plus 16 sine 4x. That in no way is equal to zero when we simplify it down. So it is not the first one. That first equation did not work. But we're going to just keep repeating that process throughout. Okay, I'm not going to do all of them here. Um, I believe both B and C work here, but let's try B one more time just so you can see what's going on. So B is 3 <coughs> e to the 2x, so the derivative of that is 6. e to the 2x, the derivative of that is 12. e to the 2x, y double prime minus 6 times y prime plus 8 times this guy. And we're trying to see if that's equal to zero. So this is 12 e to the 2x minus 36 e to the 2x plus 24 e to the 2x. It gets me zero. That one worked. Now, last one, you have c as a constant. Pick a constant. I'd suggest the number one, okay, and see if it cancels out and it ends up canceling out. Questions with anything there? A little bit tougher, but you can handle it. Let's see what other ones we struggled with. Now we're getting all the ones right. Find the particular solution, number 16. Find the particular solution with the initial condition, 0, 2. So first thing I'm going to do here is separate it. If I wanted to separate here, Megan, what would I need to do to get the y's on the same side? Yep, multiply by dx. Yep, good. And so she's got e to the y dy is equal to x plus 1 dx. She separated. Now we're going to integrate it. Jackson, what's the integration of e to the y dy going to get me? What's the, what's the derivative of e? Yeah. Yeah, so what's the antiderivative going to be? What you see? It's just e to the y. 
and then x plus 1, x squared, 1 half, plus x plus c. That's separate. We integrated. We have an initial condition of 0 and 2. So I can plug in 0 and 2. So y, I'm sorry, e squared is equal to, I plug in 0, I plug in 0, c. And then I am just going to solve here at the end. So I've got this equation right here. But instead of plus c, I'm going to put in what c is, which is e squared. How do I get rid of e? Ln. Ln, 1 half x squared plus x plus e2. It's d. Make sense how we're making that distinction? Let's try one more. Find another one we weren't great at. Is there one that looks a little different? Oh, let's do this one. Number nine is the one I want to do. All right, looking at number nine. <laughs> consider the differential equation dy dx is equal to x plus 2y. Which of the following statements is true for the particular solution contains 0, negative 1? They're asking about increasing or decreasing and concave up or concave down. What am I looking for in a function to decide if it's increasing or decreasing? The derivative. They told me the derivative, dy over dx, is equal to x plus 2y. They told me a point, so what am I going to do with that point? Plug it in. So I get 0 plus 2 times negative 1, dy over dx is negative 2. Is it increasing or decreasing? Not that one. Not that one. It's decreasing. So now I need to decide, is it concave up or concave down? How do I determine concave up or concave down? Second derivative. So I got to take the derivative of this. The derivative of dy dx is y prime or y double prime. Sorry. What's the derivative of x going to get me? One. What's the derivative of 2y going to get me? Two. But then I just took the derivative of y. So the derivative of y is dy dx. We need to include that second derivative there. Okay. Or take the derivative. It's like uh, implicit differentiation. So y double prime is equal to one plus two dy dx. What can I plug in for dy dx? Negative 2. We just did it right there. dy dx is negative 2. So it's 2 times negative 2. This is 1 minus 4. My answer is negative 3, but it's negative, so it's concave down. Questions on something we did today? <laughs>